1987 Sierra Online. Use the arrow keys to move the pointer to your name, then press enter. Uh oh, I have no name. Oh no, I can't open the file. Please enter your name. Uh, uh oh, the text is a problem. Oh no. I think this might be because I changed the machine, but maybe I had to change a graphics setting as well. Um, clicking quickly. Well, it's still somewhat legible. Um, okay, now we're gonna choose who, who we're gonna play as. Please choose who you look like. I guess I'm closest to this guy. <laughs> I guess. Good night, hippo. The tree tops. Cradle and all. That's true, the chocolate chip cookie caused all of this. Oh, the music cut out. But here we come, flying. So I never understood, yeah, Mother Goose isn't actually a goose, but there's also a goose, but we're riding on a goose. Okay, so she said, oh no, Hippo, my rhymes are all mixed up. Please help, them. please sort them out for me, etc., etc." All right, score is zero of 18. Um, are we able to, please enter to save. Yes, please. Oh, I've got a hole down to move, okay. Oh man, how can I, I'm trying to remember the short, the AGI shortcuts to, oh, here we go. Oh, now the text is okay. Put uh, like so. Look at this menu. These menu options. Put away my game. Begin where I left off. Begin a brand new game or quit this game. I like that. Put away my game. It's like you know you're cleaning up your room. You know, put it back in the toy chest or something. Uh, let's go fast. Okay, that's better. Might I think I'm I'm worried that fastest might be way too fast. Oh yeah. Oh god. Yeah. That's way too fast. Oh man, I ran into Mother Goose's rear end. Oh, we can go in Mother Goose's house. But there, there's no text parser here or anything. Okay. What is info? About MG. Makes up Mother Goose was designed by Roberta Williams. That's all you that's all you can see about it. Alright. Uh so we got escape. F1 to display this message. F2 sound. F5 to save. And restore, etc. Oh, now the uh, it looks like uh, the text got fixed now. That's good. Cool. Oh, but we only have like one save file, interestingly enough. Hello, hippo. Hello, mother goose. You have any words of wisdom? Can we go? We cannot go in your hat. We cannot go in your back room. Is this, um, who is this? Kindly fetch me my watering can. All right, watering can for for you. All right. Oh, we got a candle. All right. 
It's probably for, uh, I think that's for Jack being nimble, Jack be quick, Jack jumped over his candlestick. So the question is, I mean, we can use the map, right, that was provided to see exactly where we need to bring that, or would that be, uh, eh, I guess we can go without it, but maybe it's just more fun to explore on our own. Oh, and we got a pipe. Remember we saw the king in the manual with the pipe as well. Can we go through this forest? Wow, this is really bringing back some memories. Uh, okay, we cannot go through the forest. Can I use my... Yes, I can use my notepad. Okay, we got sheep. Oh, I think that's for little Bo Peep. Okay. See, then you just swap them like so. Now they're following us. Oh, who is this clown? You there, fetch me my sixpence. I'll fetch you more than that. Would you settle for some sheep, sir? Okay, who lives in this house? What? Oh, we got a pie. Okay. So we got sixpence sheep, candles. We got a well there. Oh, that's I think that's gonna be Jack and Jill. Daventry is better trees. Oh yeah, this must be Jack and Jill. Alas, we need a pail. I thought you wanted it was a bucket. Alright, on it. On it, Jack. I'm on it. Jill couldn't be bothered to say anything. Look at that happy sun. Yeah, the geese can be quite nasty, actually. It's true. All right, here's some... Uh, I think there's like a bowl of porridge for cribs and whey or something. Can we go up here? We cannot. All right, so we've reached the top order of the screen. Oh, need a wall. Okay. Let's go down then. I think the sheep like left the house, though. Is this someone's hat? Or is this a tuffet? A... Oh yeah, I think that's like for Miss Muffet sat on her tuffet eating her curds and whey, something. Or do I have, do I have curds and whey or do I have soup? I don't even know. Oh, that could be the uh, sixpence. Yes, okay, let's go back. Here you go, sir. Oh, so you do live here. There was a crooked man and he went a crooked mile. He found a crooked sixpence beside a crooked style. He brought a he bought a crooked cat, which caught a crooked mouse. And they all lived together in a little crooked house. Oh, what a, what a beautiful story. Alright, we got our first um we got our, we, we've scored. We got our first point there. Excellent. One down, 17 to go. Don't worry, Kappa, we'll get a high enough, we'll get a, a baseball score soon enough. Look at, oh wow, what, what a lovely garden. Who lives in this house, pray tell? Oh, do you want, do you, get, do you gals want some soup? We're hungry. Oh, you want, oh, you want meat, huh? Coming up. Oh, we got the bucket for Jack and Jill. Let's go change that in. Yeah, some have said that, Snatcher. Some have said that. Absolutely. Jack and Jill. Wait, the pie? Wasn't that just, oh, right. There's pie in a bowl of soup. Okay, got it. See, I like that I'm in my pajamas. That makes this real. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Okay, so it was a pail, not a bucket. Jack fell down and broke his crown and Jill came tumbling after. Oh man, poor Jack. He's got a concussion now. 
Be careful, kids. Do I, do I get a note of thanks or anything? Nope. <laughs> okay. Can you imagine playing this on the slowest speed? That would be a thing. You are so dead. All right, let's pick up the pie at least to get this out of the way. Oh, okay, so we got to go in through the gate. <laughs> For the rest of eternity. All right, so they want meat. We left the soup there. Oh, Banbury. Banbury. Hmm. I don't remember that. Oh, are you eating your curds and whey? Help me find my Tuffet. Oh, yes. We have seen that. Looks like a magic cat. Why is it blue? That I don't... I couldn't tell you. I'll show you to your Tuffet, Miss Muffet. How did you get lost? By the way, has anyone ever heard of the term Tuffet used in any other context outside of Miss Muffet and her Tuffet? <laughs> You're just going to have to tough it out. Nice, Kappa. Oh, I forgot to give for Jack and Jill. Little Miss Muffet sat on a tuffet, eating of curds and whey. There came a big spider and sat down beside her and frightened Miss Muffet away. I <laughs> like how this the spider has like this devilish expression. Uh, tremendous, just tremendous. Oh, let's let's save our game. All right. Um, oh, she's back. Apparently, she didn't get scared off enough. She returned just seconds later. Score. You would, Rand. It's probably a good idea. No good can come of that, I imagine. I reckon. I wager. Run away! Okay, let's Run pick up our away! pie. Oh, we got a can we got a castle here. Was that a violin pipe? Oh yeah, we probably need to bring the pipe here. Oh, there's the meat. I want that meat. Gerald, please bring me my pipe. All right, sorry, sir. I have to deliver this meat first. Groceries, you know. But I think we can get the pipe. I think it was on the left edge. There's going to be a lot of, uh, you know, backtracking and such going on here. You'd burn the tuffet so Miss Muffet could never sit in it again, Snatcher? Is that your reasoning? Oh, no. Jack Sprat could eat no fat. His wife could eat no lean. And so, between them both, they licked the platter clean. Yum! His wife could eat no lean. Oh, Jack Sprat, you two are just, you two are just a hoot. All right, now we gotta get the pipe. Meanwhile, we're transporting the soup out of the house. I wonder if it's faster walking diagonals. Slightly. I think it was below here. No, that was the candle. Uh, was the pipe south of this? Yes. All right, now to the castle. Oh, oh, here's little Bo Peep who lost her sheep. I think. Boo-hoo, I've lost my sheep. Oh, I'm sure I'm sure they have real. I'm sure people have. Which is crazy too with that fastest setting. You'd be like, oh, they're right here. Perfect. We can uh happy to oblige here to bring them one screen north. <laughs> okay. Little Bo Peep has lost her sheep 
and can't tell where to find them. Leave them alone and they'll come home and bring their tails behind them. I feel like I'm turning into Mr. Rogers here. <laughs> okay. All right. Back to the pipe. Well, let's save. Oh, so we've got a house with some clocks and an, a big clock and an hourglass there. Okay, we haven't visited that yet. You know what? Let's um, let's check in to see what they want and what they have while we're here. I like you just the way you are. Aw, thanks, Kappa. Oh, there's a ladder there. Oh, that's for Humpty Dumpty. Okay. And I think Humpty Dumpty is next to the castle. I actually remember that. Because I played this game probably, I don't know, a couple dozen times when I was a kid at least. And all right, let's deliver the pipe. Old King Cole. Child, please bring me my bowl. What? Oh, it's got purple. Oh, damn, we didn't... Wow, this guy wants more than one item? Dude, not cool. All right, let's at least get the pie out of here. I don't suppose this is your bowl. It is not. Okay. There was the bowl of soup, but it was a different, differently colored. I think it's probably for someone else. All right, let's just confirm about uh, Humpty Dumpty here. Oh, wait, that's not Humpty Dumpty. What do you want? Kid. With a high no ho, where did my What do you say? My knife go? Alright, so that kid wants a knife. I don't remember who that is. Bowl of pie. So maybe Humpty Dumpty's here to the right? <laughs> He's got the munchies. Oh bread knife, thank you, Dax. Uh there is Humpty Dumpty. I want to sit there. I need a ladder. Humpty Dumpty, you're. I'll 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 boost you up. Oop, oop. <laughs> Don't worry, Humpty. All right. Well, we know where the ladder is, so let's go grab that. You never should have insisted. I already have. Uh, okay, it was south of here, right? He'll shiv you. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, I think this is, this might be the Hickory Dickory Dock. The mouse running off the clock one. I think so. So we'll be back there. Oh, I'm getting stuck. And then I remember there was also the um, Hey Diddle Diddle, the Cat and the Fiddle, the Cow Jumped Over the Moon. But I forgot the, uh, okay, uh, I forgot the item that we have to give him for that. But I remember it's like up towards the top. I remember that. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All of the king's horses and all the king's men cannot put Humpty Dumpty back together again. Oh, we killed Humpty Dumpty. Now I feel bad. Look, see, even the shoulder, uh, the soldier, shoulder. The soldier took off his hat to pay out of uh, respect to poor Humpty Dumpty, who is cracked, never to be put together again. Oh, that was a good, that's a good follow up because you hear the breaking at the end. I don't know though, did we Kappa? If he's dead, did we truly help him? I don't wanna even think about it. Oh, we got some, I forgot who those are. We got a, oh, we got a, hello. Oh, my wife is gone again. Did she run off with another gentleman, sir? 
Oh, there's nothing in here. Okay. In the pumpkin house. What is this? Cinderella's coach? Stagecoach? Okay, what's the house over here? Let's check this out. With these. Oh, those oh, those are the fiddlers. Okay, I think that's for the um That could be for the Hey Diddle Diddle. Oh, there there's the king's uh bowl of chow. Boy, am I hungry for pie. Alright. Oh, is that Tom Thumb and the stuck his thumb in the plum or whatever or something? Okay, um, let's give the king his bowl of grub. And we know the pie, I think we left in the clock, clock house, right? Oh, nice, t Freeze, cool. I'm <laughs> making a great soundtrack for kids. The game is doing it for me. You know, it was actually funny. There was, um, so for a few years, my sister, you know, was like an early education teacher. So she did like special ed for like elementary school kids. Child, please bring me my Fiddlers 3. Oh, okay, we know where those are. Um, and uh, anyway, she she had, uh, she had, she asked me, so the two of us recorded like, I don't know, four or five books on tape that like her the kids from the classroom could like check out or whatever. Back when that was like a cool thing and I guess it wasn't easily accessible to get the tapes otherwise or something. So I did like, we did like, I remember we did a Curious George book and like um, uh, a Madeline book. And uh, yeah, my girlfriend was like the narrator and then my sister and I would do like the character. I would do all the male voices and she did all the female voices. It, it was fun. Oh, Little Jack Corner. Yes. Thank you, Kappa. So who's Tom Thumb? That's someone too, right? Little Jack Horner sat in the corner. Eating of Christmas pie. He put in his thumb and pulled out a plum and said, What a good boy am I. You are a good boy, little Jack Horner, just not as good as Tom Thumb. <laughs> okay, so I didn't remember the plum, but I, I forgot it was little Jack Horner. I thought it was um, <laughs> Tom Thumb. Thumb and the plum. He's got a lot of plums going on there. All right, let's grab the fiddlers from the backyard here. Wow, that's quite a vegetable garden they have going on here. I see some corn and cabbage and... Can you help us find the castle? I surely can. This way, gents. Man, imagine if you were like one of those three fiddlers and you had to walk in unison with your other two com colleagues, but every move you made had to be exactly the same. You'd be like walking in formation everywhere. It'd be amazing. Old King Cole was a merry old soul, and a merry old soul was he. He called for his pipe, and he called for his bowl, and he called for his fiddlers three. I like how even the soldiers dance. That's a nice touch. Fiddling's their side hustle. First he smokes up, then he demands pie. Now he's like, go find me some dudes. He'd be your type of monarch. Nice. All right, so I think we used the pie. We left the bowl of soup somewhere. I think maybe we left that by the sheep or something. Uh, I've got to remember now. Anyway, let's go exploring some new area to the right here. Yeah, there was. Or no, they baked the crows in the pie, I think, Eileen. Yeah. Oh, we got a mouse. Huh. That might be the Hickory Dickory Dock one? But we didn't have anyone there to tell us. Oh, it's a school. Oh, look at that. It's the Sierra flag. Awesome. Oh, 
my lamb has wandered off. First we return sheep, now we also have to return lambs. Who are you, Mary? Did you have a little lamb, but now it's gone. gone. Oh, we lost the mouse. A, B, C, one plus one equals two. Ooh, we got a, we got a, a fiddle here or a violin. Oh, this must be close to where we need, um, oh, so now we got a, what do you, what do you call these things? A hobby horse or something? Yes, 4 and 20 baked birds, a blackbirds baked in a pie. Yes, thank you. I put, I said baked birds. Oh, these are the guys that need the fiddle. Fiddle dee dee, I fiddle for me. All right, sir, I can help you out with that, Mr. Cat. Okay, I think this was my favorite one. Not only because there's a cow in it, but it was my favorite animation, I think, as a kid. Let's grab that fiddle. Oh, the dog showed up. Hey, diddle diddle. The cat and the fiddle. The cow jumped over the moon. Oh no, that was a hard landing. The little dog laughed to see such sport. And the dish ran away with the spoon. Man, that cow really did face plant. That was quite something. <laughs> uh, all right, we're halfway through. Nice. Should we grab the uh, hobby horse here? Yeah. Uh, let's see what's up top here. Oh, that's Humpty Dumpty. Oh, Humpty Dumpty, you got put it back together again? Nice, Humpty Dumpty. Glad to see you're not just Yoki now. That is good news indeed. Okay, this is the schoolyard. Um, what's to the right of this? Oh, we got a doggo. Oh, I remember loving this doggo. It's like mini Scooby. What's the name? Uh, Scrappy? Is that the name of a small one? Whoa, look at what we got going on here. What, the woman that lived in the shoe and everything. Oh, where, oh, where's my little donk gone? Oh, where, oh, where can he be? Here's Spot. With his ears cut short and his tail cut long. Oh, where, oh, where can he be? If your if your ears are not gonna die after the combination of that of that music plus my singing, nothing will. <laughs> your ears can withstand anything now. Ah, uh, oh, what a cute puppo. Very happy about that. Alrighty. Oh, there's Mary had a little lamb. Okay, let's grab the, the lamb. But on our way, let's see what they want over here in the shoe area. Please, I need broth for my children. Oh, so you need the soup. All right. That's the big problem, though. I don't remember exactly where we left the soup. Can we go inside your shoe? Yes, we can. Oh, oh, we've also got the bread knife for uh, that joker. All right. So maybe we'll grab that back. Yeah, I think we'll... Yes, I know, I know. Look at that kid digging up the yard. He's all destructive. Meanwhile, we've got a baby jumping on a wall. <laughs> there are a lot of unsafe activities going on here. Meanwhile, that kid looks like he's stuck. His arm is like tied into the shoe. <laughs> a lot of unsafe activities going on here. The baby's gonna fall down at any minute. Oh man. Uh, Louise, LCX, thank you for the follow, welcome. You need to find a way to get up here. Look, the, do the, the boy and his dog have been reunited. Love it. Mary had a little lamb. Its fleece was as white as snow. Yeah, they, they missed the second thing of Mary had a little lamb. Wherever, eh, wherever Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. It followed her to school one day, which was against the rule. 
It made the children laugh and play to see a lamb at school. Ha ha! <laughs> they missed the second Mary Had a Little Lamb, though. What happened there? Uh, I was like, wait, what? There's only one Mary Had a Little Lamb? That's not the Mary Had a Little Lamb I'm used to. I can tell you that. Um, oh, yeah, we want to pick up the knife now. Okay. Let's grab the knife. Meanwhile, one of those kids could get that knife at any at any point in time. <laughs> Laminated. Yeah, the the um it definitely reminds me of the Black Cauldron, just the overall the visuals. You know, sort of like a medieval fairy tale sort of world, and you've got the Sierra AGI style going on. Even the inter well, the interface isn't exactly the same, but close enough. All right, so now we need to get to the um, down. Okay, and we, we're gonna need, and after we return the knife, we're gonna have to find out where the soup is. I think. I think I left it in either one of the houses or it might be one of the, yeah, that'll be the tough part. Horror city for originals. Here we go. Here's your bread knife. Do I know this rhyme? Do you really have to watch to the corner? Oh, oh, there are people coming in. Who are these jokers? Oh, little Tommy Tucker sings for his supper. What shall he eat? White bread and butter. How shall he cut it without ever a knife? Will he be married without ever a wife? <laughs> His face turned red. Uh, see, the, I'm not familiar with this Tommy Tucker rhyme. I don't think I ever learned that one. All right, we got six more to go. Um, so we know the soup has to be given to old Mother Hubbard. Wait, was it Mother Hubbard? I thought she had the cupboard. She lived in the shoe as well. Um, I don't think I left it there. I, I think I remember taking it out of the castle. So I think it's in, maybe it's in the, in the clock. It might be in the clock house. That's my best guess. Let's check the clock house. Let's see. No, it was not there. I might, we might have to take the mouse there. Interesting. Okay. Um, well, for now, let's go down here. Okay, so let's go to the start. We didn't do the the bottom right-hand corner. Oh, you, sir, what do you need? Oh, this is the guy jumping over the candlestick. Jack, be nimble. Well, it's me. I lost my candlestick. All right, well, we know where that is. Um, That's kind of in the left-hand corner. Uh, before we get that, though, let's see what else is over here. Oh, oh, we got the watering can for the... See, I'm glad we did that, because on our way back, we'll pass that woman. All right, good. The gardening woman. Oh, you're the woman that ran away. I live in a pumpkin. <laughs> oh, my God, what is that ominous sound? Is that supposed to be the rapids? Good God. Okay, and there's the shoe. All right, so I think we can probably return you. You're the pumpkin lady. Pumpkin lady. Yeah, you live in that. Uh, oh, you live, well, I guess we can go this way. And then we have to double back for the watering can. All right. Oh, Kisk, you played in elementary school? Nice, nice. I'm going to guess the Apple II version, probably. Do you remember whether it was on an Apple II? All right, here's the pumpkin. Uh, do I? I don't know if I know this rhyme actually. Oh, Peter, Peter, pumpkin eater, had a wife and couldn't keep her. 
He put her in a pumpkin shell, and there he kept her very well. Wow, I don't like the implications of this. He basically imprisoned her in a pumpkin? Good God. Wow. Just wow. Oh, okay, so it was, it was this very version then. Unless you played one of the remakes. Awesome. Yeah, because this is uh, this is DOS, yeah. So it was likely something like this. Okay, I want to avoid the mouse because I want to keep the mouse relatively centrally located. Yeah, that that was a, that. Uh, <laughs> not sure that Peter Pumpkin Eater one would be uh, would be included nowadays. Rhyming with Tucker is asking for trouble. Maybe. Peter's a very nice guy. Okay, you want the candlestick. Yeah, oh. Well, always me. Man, this guy looks like he could beat us up, huh? All right, so I think the uh, gardening woman is around here. Yep, here she is. Mary, Mary, quite contrary. How does your garden grow? With silver bells and cockle shells and pretty maids on a row. Oh yeah, I remember she does water. She waters each one individually or something. And then stuff is gonna pop up after she's done watering. Okay, so you got the uh, the SCI version probably. Nice. Yeah, so we'll play that one too eventually. Ah, smile, smile. Oh, how nice. Can we, um, I cannot grab your your hoe or whatever <laughs> you're, you're, you're using there. All right, so let's go find the um, candlestick here. Oh, this was the, um, okay, so this is the, the broth for Hubbard, all right. Oh man, we're gonna have to backtrack with both of these, shoot. I wish there was a more, more efficient way of doing this, but. Alas. We are but a puny little boy. We can only carry one item at a time. Hmm. Can I ring those bells? So this was the only other version I played, so I'll be interested to, to uh, check out how they, um, little, you know, if there are little new features introduced to the subsequent versions. <laughs> no, no fast travel. Well, actually there is fast travel, but. It's like he, he zooms all over. It's, it's quite a thing to witness. Jack, be nimble. Jack, be quick. Jack, jump over the candlestick. Ouch. <laughs> he got his ass on fire. Uh, this is one of the better animations too. <laughs> For sure. Uh, good times, good times. I'm actually curious, so what happens if we leave the screen and come back? Is he going to be by the candlestick or will he still be in the river? No, by the candlestick, too bad. Okay. All right, so we only got three to go. We got the broth that we're giving to um, uh, Miss Hubbard, who lived in the shoe. Then we have the mouse, who I think we have to return to the clock store, but we weren't actually explicitly told that. I think that's Hickory Dickory Dock. The mouse ran up the clock. Uh, and then, I don't know, it's probably a place we haven't seen. I'm trying to remember. We might have to walk around a while, figure out what the last item would be. Okay, we got our soup. Or broth, I think she called it. So we're probably best off here walking through the, um, the square. So those were the women with the meat. We already gave them that. I might have left an item in there, maybe. No, I think I probably took the item out with me after I gave them the meat. So I think we're probably good there. Okay. 
I'm trying to remember. We gave the guy what he we gave the guy's wife back. Pumpkin dude. Oh, okay, so we do need to go south here. Oh, I was kind of oh well. A little off. Yeah, I don't remember that one either, Coco. There are a few ones that are a little bit more obscure, at least to maybe Americans. Maybe the, the British, it's more common. There was an old woman who lived in a shoe. She had so many children, she didn't know what to do. She gave them some broth without any bread. She spanked them. She whipped them all soundly and put them to bed. She's whipping them with the spoon that she feeds them with. Wow, can you imagine? You get, you get a spoonful of soup and then you get smacked in the rump. So this is not Miss uh, old Miss Hubbard. So old Miss Hubbard lived in the cupboard or something? Not not in the shoe? <laughs> yeah, child service need to be called. Not to mention the police for the the domestic violence. Well, not exactly domestic violence, but that... That w the woman is being held against her will in that pumpkin house, even though she did say, oh, I live in a pumpkin. All right, I'm going to speculate that we need to give the mouse to uh, Hickory Hickory Dock. Let's see if we're right. And then we're definitely going to have to figure out what to do thereafter. Oh, have we got what's to the right of this? All right, we'll check it out after the clock store. Clock house. Time house. Yes, hickory dickory duck. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one. And down he run. Hickory dickory duck. So that might be a harder one because I don't know. I wonder if we had approached the clock, whether the clock would have said anything that, oh, I need my mouse. Is there anything up here? Oh, right, this garden, but no. Got a nice sundial though. All sorts of time devices, love it. All right, I don't remember what was on the right side of this. So we were one more item to go. What was in here? Oh, right, Tom Thumb and the Plum. Or no, sorry, uh, t that was the Tucker. What was the kid's name? <laughs> Keep on forgetting his name. So it's probably maybe some more earlier that we forgot about on the left side. Jack Horner, sat in the corner. Yeah, okay, I remember. See, I've got to learn something today, right? <laughs> That'd be useful. Okay, I think it was Old Miss Muffet on the Tuffet is up there. Although she wasn't old, they made her into a girl in this, in this version. Okay, we gave the guy his deal. Let me just check to make sure we took whatever it was out of the house, but I think we did. This is the guy with the sixpence. Yeah, so we're good. Oh. oh, wow, so the cat and the mouse are all curled up on the table. I like that. I'm glad we checked in on them, see how they were doing. Then we got uh, Jack and Jill going up the hill here. I'm curious, if nothing else, I want to just see how they're represented now that Je after Jack sustained that concussion. <laughs> Oh, wow, they look pretty downcast. They're not doing too well. Not doing too well at all. All right, this was the Muffet and the Tuffet. Yeah, eating your curds and whey. We got nothing over here. Oh, this is the northern edge of the screen. So we probably have the hump, uh, the, um, the weird guy with the bread knife over here. Yep. Well, he looks happy. He can cut his bread now. So, hmm, what are we missing? We got Bo Peep and her sheep. Nothing there. This is the uh, watering can woman. Okay, we did Hickory Dickory Dock. Um, I think. You know where we might want to check is the place where we served the steak. Because I thought I took an item out of there, but I'm almost sure I did. But since we're here, let's check it. Yeah, Jack Spratt. That's what we're going to check in on now. 
Letter status is clean, absolutely. Yep, okay, so we gave them their, we did take what we needed there. All right. Um, the mouse was the straggler. Was there something we left in the schoolroom maybe? Maybe that's the place to check next. Check the schoolroom. We know we're good with the pumpkin. We got the three fiddler fiddlers. Oh yeah, here's the schoolhouse. The Sierra flag and all. Oh, did we ever go right if you're We might not have done that. Oh, we got a teacher now here. Here's Mary had a little lamb with her lamb now in class. Can I take a seat? I cannot. Hello, teach. Uh, yeah, what was to the right of this? Maybe it's north of the shoe. Oh, the hobby horse, that's right. Okay, the hobby horse. Where does this go? We got hey diddle diddle. We got nothing here. Hmm. Is this called a hobby horse, by the way? I want to say it's a hobby port horse, but I don't know for sure. Probably some random guy needs this or boy, whatever. Uh, what's the right here? Okay, so this is the shoe. Okay, yeah, it is Happy Horse. Cool. It's one of those things I guess I knew, but I haven't, like, <laughs> I haven't ever, like, used the word in, you know, so long. I was, like, uh, not confident about what it actually was. And you don't really see, I mean, do they even make Happy Horses in this day and age? I don't think kids, do kids even have those? Right, that was the scary screen with the water, the rapids. All right, so we're kind of in search. I don't know who needs this. We have the 18th item, so that's good, but we don't know where to deliver it. You've got your candle. This is just going to be on that screen. That's uh, Jack Horner in there. Jack being nimble. A lot of jacks, huh? Goose, any chance you could use a happy horse? Oh, no. You could not. Um, what, what are the houses to the left? I think it just goes straight up to the castle once we get past the Jack Spratt Lane. But... Oh. Ride a cock horse to Banbury Cross to see a fine lady upon a white horse. Rings on her fingers and bells on her toes. She shall have music wherever she goes. Oh, so it's not it's not a hobby horse, it's a cock horse. <laughs> oh, here comes Mother Goose riding her goose. Thank you very much. You have done a great job, Hippo. Well, thank you, Mother Goose. I like how we don't even say anything. We don't say thank you, or I'm going to steal your goose now, <laughs> or goodbye. Ah, oh, here's everybody. Oh, I love the mouse on top of the house. We all thank you, Hippo. Hip, hip. Hippo! Hooray! Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! Hooray! It is time to go home now. Goodbye, Hippo! Goodbye, everybody! Goodbye. Wow, look at that tank. That's a big tank, toy tank. It is time to get up, Hippo. That is one 
Loud bird. Mother Goose and her design team hope you enjoyed Mixed Up Mother Goose. Congratulations on a job well done. Well, thank you, game. Thank you. Okay. So after 50 minutes and 30 seconds, Mixed Up Mother Goose has been unmixed up. All 18 nursery rhymes were rearranged and put back together. We wrote a goose in our fever chocolate cookie dream. Chocolate chip cookie, in fact. We fell asleep reading a massive book of Mother Goose. And had quite the adventure. <laughs> he, he's just reflecting zero on the great time that he had. So yeah, it's a uh, fun game. I mean, I played this to death as a kid. You know, as a youngin myself. Rearranging things all over the place. And yeah, it does have replayability because they, they randomize where the items are. So even though I think where you have to bring them is the same, they end up in different spots. Oh, well, thank you, Coco. Um, it, yeah, it'll just be cool to see in the subsequent versions how they, you know, improve graphics and they'll add speech and interface changes. So it'll be cool to see this one evolve. As we play again, it was remade three different times, and there's also a sequel called Mixed Up Fairy Tales, which I've never even seen. I don't even know anything about that one, uh, other than that it exists. So that'll be cool.